welcome back to my channel. It's Nami Korea. And if it's your first time here, then hi! I hope you subscribe to my channel because I'll be making videos every week. So I know what you're thinking. Mika, is this clickbait? Well, I'm gonna tell you, girl. <laughs> it's not because we're really gonna use 300 pesos. The only catch is it's per day. But I'm gonna show you like really unique places here in Baguio that not a lot of people know about. And are really cheap pala. Like, we're not gonna do the usuals and stuff. We're gonna do some really adventurous, cool girl stuff. So yeah, I hope you stay in and watch this video to find out what those are. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Let's go! So the first place we're going to is the Ililika Artist Village. And it's like a Hobbit-themed compilation of restaurants, artist studios, and a really big-ass, like, theater shaped like a boat. <laughs> and if you see it from the outside, you'd think like, oh, it's like an abandoned place. I would never go in there. It looks sketchy. It looks scary. I'm not gonna go in there. But when you go inside, it's like this really cool artist's hub with such good food that costs around 90 to 150 pesos only for a meal. And it's like super cheap. And there's like this guy named Tatay Kidlat. And he makes like the shows that are out there in the Ililikha Theater. And then it's for free if you want to watch it. But it's hella creepy if you go there when there's no show. It's just cool. So yeah, it is very Mika Adventure approved. On to the next one. Woo! That was a long trip. Okay. Um, thank you, Mika from Baguio. Anyways, <clears throat> the next place we went to was Camp John Hay. And I know what you're thinking, Mika. I've been there and you're going to say something unique and stuff like that. But then... I have a feeling there's like a place there where not a lot of people go to because it was pretty like empty. So if you guys didn't know, in Camp John Hay, they also have Treetop Adventure, which you could do stuff for as low as 100 pesos and trekking and their sky park thing. It's like so worth it. Everybody look back! Look back! Yay! The next thing, there's this nerf thing that we did, my sister and I, and I think it would be more fun if there are more people, but I still had so much fun <laughs> hitting my sister. So the next day, this is like the third day. Um, I went horseback riding and that only cost 250 pesos and that was a pretty cool experience because like the, the horse went like it went up because of this big horse was trying to scare my horse and so my horse went up and I was just like oh my god then but I didn't fall so I was just so happy and my horse was trotting around which is super cool and you guys should experience it and it's less than 300 pesos and that's a good thing and apart from this, we tried going to the strawberry farm, but then it started raining really, really, really hard. Yeah. So we weren't able to go to the strawberry farm. Yes. Yeah, it's raining. Oh, so nice strawberry farm. <laughs> it's full of strawberries and farms. With putek. But going there, we visited the La Trinidad Valley of Colors. I think that's what it's called. And it's super cool. At libre lang tumingin. Kaya okay okay sa pockets ko. We took this route going back home. Because yun nga, wala. we couldn't go to the strawberry farm. And we saw a garden in the sky in Baguio, which looks super cool. It's like a village. And you guys should check it out. But actually, the road going there was super nice. So yeah, you guys should pretty much go there. Adventure approved. On to the next day! Woo! We're back in Manila. Okay, this video is weird, but okay, whatever. Anyways, the last day, we went to the Pen Cab Museum, which was my favorite part because I love museums so much. And I'm not going to show you anything inside the museum, like the paintings and stuff, because it's an experience for yourself. But I am going to tell you about 
the outside, which is the Cafe Sabel, which is their restaurant. I think that's what you call it, Cafe Sabel. And it's like amazing. It's super, super amazing. Because like there's this like view of a mountain valley thing. And you get to sit down, like staring right at it. And there's like a garden right below you. And it's a super cool experience. Oh, it's just run, really people, run. <laughs> <laughs> You're evil. And you can even go trekking because they have trekking and it's for free if you want to go trekking with them. You just have to wait for a certain time period. There's also some tours that are for free. So 150 pesos for a full experience, super adventure proof. Going back! So we're back here. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel to keep watching our videos. And yeah, if you have anything else to say, then comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!